a lot of the times when we're looking at manipulating a design or changing properties or densities or adjusting any of those, those designs, we're looking at changing wireframe designs. And there are two main types of embroidery file types. There's going to be a stitch file and a wireframe file. And usually those wireframe files are the ones that the digitizers keep as kind of their editing files. And then if they're going to send stuff out to an embroiderer, they oftentimes send stitch files. And all those stitch files are, are purely plotted out stitches. So they don't have a lot of that information. So let's look into Design Shop, see the difference in those two uh, file types, and see if we can't tell the difference. So in Design Shop, I'm going to open up a design. It's located on local disk C in the Designs folder. I'm going to open OneDay.OFM. I've also saved One Day as an EXP. So we've got basically the same design in those two different formats. I'm going to open them both. And let's take a look at OneDay.OFM first. So the OFM is Melco's native language. It's what we read. It's what we write. And that is our wireframe file type. If I expand out on the project view on the right hand side, I can see all the pieces that make up those elements. I can see I've got a walk and a complex fill. And when I select those, I can see all of the input points that went into making up this shape. And inside that shape is a fill stitch with a density of 4.0 and a stitch angle of 124 degrees. So you can see all the information in a wireframe file. You can see that outline. You can see all the, the stitches that make it up. When you deal with an expanded file or, or a stitch file, you're only going to see those stitches and none of that information will be available, just the X and Y location of all the needle penetration. So let's take a look at one day dot exp. So if I look at this, and we'll go to the same zoom level. So all of the stitches are essentially looking exactly the same. Now I didn't keep my color information, so it doesn't really know that the, the pairs are supposed to be light green and the outline is supposed to be a really dark green like it does with the OFM. The OFM kept all of that color information with it. With the stitch file, it doesn't have that information. It just knows that the needle's going to drop here and then here and then here and that eventually that's going to kind of fill in this shape. If I expand out my, my project view, you'll notice that I don't have a lot of information here. I just have expanded data. And that is only, I'm going to go to the stitches tab for a minute, only the X and Y location of all of those needle penetrations. That's what those expanded or stitch files have. So when we're dealing with editing, we're typically dealing with a wireframe file. So for Design Shop users, the wireframe files are going to be .ofm files. Those are going to be your object format. Those are going to have your outlines with all that information inside of them. It can contain lettering. It can contain color information. It can contain all kinds of, of good, useful um, formats and properties for your stitches. When you're dealing with stitch files, a lot of those other extensions are going to be your stitch files. The, the DST or the EXP, any of those um, more home formats as well, those are going to be stitch files. And while stitch files are a little bit more universal, more machines can open them up, more machines can read them, they are not nearly as editable. So when we're dealing with wireframe editing, remember that we're dealing mostly with OFM files.